hello 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 everyone and welcome back to my channel today we're gonna continue playing tell me why which has so far been an amazing game and it has already been horrible at the same time like obviously it's a very heavy game if you do not know about the game i would suggest that you one read the trigger warnings two go and watch it from the start because i have a feeling it's gonna be harder to watch slash play the more you know i have missed a few memories don't come for me i didn't get it okay i get it now so hopefully i won't miss anyone and any anyone any more memories now and i'm really excited to play oh don't don't mind this i was cleaning my desk earlier anyway <laughs> If you are new here, hello, my name is Caroline. I am also a Twitch streamer and I create reactions content here on YouTube. If you want to go and check the reactions content now, so you can click the link up here. And if you want to come and hang out live or check out any of my other social media, the links are down below. And if you're not new here, welcome back. In the last episode, we went to the store to pick up some like essentials that we needed to clean the house and some snacks and such we also met michael who i'm already like shipping you know want him to become the boyfriend of tyler i want them to become a top couple because they'd be so cute and i feel like allison and michael they're like really good friends and i don't want to ruin their friendship you know you know what i mean <laughs> So I'm really excited to play. I want to know more about Michael. I want to know more about their mom, Marianne. They went to the store and also wanted to ask Tessa, I believe her name was, which was their mom's, like, friend. But she did not seem like she wanted to talk, which I find very fishy. Like, I understand if it's hard to talk about it, because obviously they'd been friends for a long time. But on the other hand... Like, she spent a lot of time with these kids as well, that are now adults, obviously. And it's been 10 years, like, I don't understand if she needs long time to process, but after 10 years, I feel like, unless you have something to hide, you should be able to talk to them. That's like, they deserve that, and they are both amazing people, so like... It all strikes me as a little weird, and we're gonna try to lure it out of her eventually, I think is the plan. But I, I I, don't think I have a lot more to say, so without further ado, let's get into the game. Okay, we're in the store. I don't remember exactly what we were gonna do in here. Oh, I got a memory. Hang on. Hang on. We're not missing it this time. No, we are not missing this. Okay, they're really tricky to find. That's that's my biggest issue with this. It's easier to to really focus on it than when you're having a when you're having a controller because it like it vibrates. And there's a memory. Oh wait, here it is. I think. Oh, there. Okay, here we go. Oh, did I? Oh my god, I need to hold both. Hey guys, you all done yet? Yeah, Mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh? What's your excuse this time? Emergency repairs for the beaver dam? Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you Wait. now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? Oh, <gasps> she was in debt with Tessa? I'd completely forgotten about that. I yeah, because as kids, you probably don't exactly think like about that. it. Here, right? let's see if we can call up my version, okay? Oh! Oh, <gasps> we can call up the... Wait, so they have their... Each have their worst version of it? Mom, can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, saying, okay. there's no time for games today. Marianne, can we talk? No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Oh. Okay. We remember that slightly differently. I guess that's that makes interesting. Sense. Rashomon, you know. But whatever happened, after that, they walked to the counter, and then Marianne lashed out at Tessa, right? Uh, no. 
Marianne defended us because Tessa got all preachy. Which is it going to be? That's a good question. Choose which memory? How am I? What? How am I supposed to choose which memory? I Tessa was you. angry. You. Now. Oh, and this is. Please, Mary let's just talk like, for a few minutes. Okay? Hey, how am I supposed to choose? Marianne was looking for a fight. Which is it going to be? Oh, no, don't put me in this position. This isn't even making a choice like that. It's just like which memory is correct. Okay, I don't know how exactly this will like affect which is it going to be? them. But I feel like in a sense, because right now they're kind of... It's like us, like it's like us against the world kind of thing. So it's them against Marianne. So I feel like having them think that Marianne was angry. I don't know. It makes more sense for me. And I feel please, like that's the picture I have minutes. of her, but that doesn't okay. have to be true. So please, let's just talk. Go with Tyler's memory. Okay. Please, Marianne, I'm just trying. Stay away from my children. They don't need your guidance. I'm just trying to help. I don't need help. Not from you, not from oh, anyone yeah. else in this fucking town. I'm done with all of you. You're done Wait. with the food I give you? The fuel? Maybe you are, but the kids are my children, Tessa. Mine, and not yours. Please, let's not do this. Wait, here. maybe this let's was their last fight before... Fine. Okay. Maybe she was protecting you them too, after wait. all. She didn't want them to be like feeling bad. You know, feeling bad for like Tyler's sake. Could I'm that so be it? That, okay. For now, let's say Marianne was being Marianne. But once they got into the office, they both went at it hard. What do you think they were arguing about? Me? Don't know. Maybe, maybe Marianne was after she protecting up the music. him after all. But hey, now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. Okay, I wasn't really thinking about this aspect because I forgot that Tyler said that it was like she was angry because of the like belief thing. But me, okay, I don't want to like get my hopes up. But what if, what if Marianne? was actually trying to protect them in that situation. Um, I don't know where Tessa went. Oh, she's in here. Oh. 9.5? Oh no, 9 till 5. <laughs> Oath, family, and- Oh, she's up Tuesdays, okay. Buzzard home? Wait, so he's off fishing in those days? Can I help you, Allison? Oh, uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just looking for something that I forgot. Is that so? Can this I take this? Here. Hey, it's a collectible! Let's go. Man, 2004. Tessa keeps track of everything in these notebooks. Like what? Any loans she's given out, the stuff she lets regulars take for free, even her tithes. And then what? She starts passing out horse heads if people don't pay her back. Uh, I think she just likes having a record. She's gonna hand it off to St. Paul like a resume. I mean, I don't I don't necessarily think it's bad keeping track of like who owes you money, especially if you are a person who lends a lot of money, you might end up losing a lot if you do that regularly. Okay, wait, let me just see if there's anything else in here. It feels so fitting that it's like winter in this game because because it's winter here and cold and it just makes sense okay <laughs> it just makes sense okay i think it's time we talk to tessa hope i don't Is have something to be sharp. i can do for you we're just gonna go straight at it it's fine earlier you said marianne kept everything to herself but you two had a big fight a few months before her death didn't you we argued all the Tyler's time. Tyler's like... You'll have to be more specific. <laughs> this wasn't about who okay, cheated Okay, it looks more natural now. This was intense. 
you locked yourselves in the office so we couldn't hear. I'm sorry. It was a long time no, ago. No, Tessa, you remember. No, you keep track of everything. Of something. Okay. We'll leave you to it. Damn it. Oh, she's not going to give them she more. Knows more than she's letting on. Oh, she <gasps> definitely knows. But, uh, if she's such a tidy person, she does. We don't even know what we mean. If we could pinpoint what it was about, she'd be out of excuses. Sure, but how do we do that? The music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Mm. Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It was on all the time. What are you thinking? We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Maybe listening to it will trigger something. Bird. You may be onto something here, Ronan. We Is she calling him Ronan even though she's also Ronan? We should go talk to Tom. Make sure we build as strong of a case as possible. Okay. I feel like Let's we're detectives we now. What song it was. Tom is the guy up front, right? Oh, we I can talk to him. To Tom, right? Oh, or like that. Tom, right? Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? What's next on the campaign trail? I don't know why I'm asking down this. At the, harbor. the fishermen are getting pretty fed up with business as usual. I've got some ideas about how to keep the fish populations up, but also put food on the table. Grab some flyers. Help spread the word. <laughs> we'll do. We'll go with this one now. This might be a weird question, but do you remember the song that Tessa and Marianne used to love? They played it all the time. <laughs> how could I forget? Uh, oh. I think she's still got the CD back here. A yeah, if they listen to it all the time, I feel like you probably wouldn't forget about it, even if you wanted to. Huh, here it is. I was happy when it got put away, to be honest. <laughs> A bit cheesy for my tastes. And if they play it all the time as well, I, I get it. Although I'm also a bit like that. This is it, right? I think so. Are we gonna get a new memory then? <laughs> I hope so. <gasps> yeah. Whoa, I just got hit with a flood of memories. You seen what I'm That's seeing? That's so cool. Yeah. Okay, so we get to go through the store again now? Mom, stop! That's so embarrassing! <laughs> oh yeah? Oh Tessa, god, they're both dying. Me. You love this song. No, I couldn't possibly. Some of us are actually trying to get work done here. Okay. How carefree she could be. Yeah. What the hell happened? I mean, that's not necessarily something bad, though, right? I don't know. Let's see. Here. Buy the snack aisle. The kids keep pestering me for these candies. They're so expensive. Don't just grab a bag. It's fine. Oh no, I, I can't, Tessa. It's nothing. Okay. But write it down in your little notebook. Okay, okay, whatever you want. There, happy? Yes. And I'll be by on Wednesday to help you close, like I promised. Tessa acted like she was Marianne's mom sometimes. I think yeah. Tessa was self-righteous and treated Marianne like a charity. That's person. that's probably more it. like it. We should go find that notebook she was holding. She strikes Pretty me sure as a person who's like doing good earlier. for others. For her own good. Does that make sense? Wait, was there something here? No. Are we gonna go and look at this again? The notebook? No? Wait.
The music gets louder when uh, when you get the memory. Here. What are you doing here? Uh, I thought you needed help with the storm. I needed help two hours ago. Have you been drinking? What? No, I just had a day, okay? I took a pill. I'm fine. There he is. It's a pill? I said I'm fine. Kids, come on, let's go. Wait, please. I have something for you. Take a look at this when you get home, okay? They can handle this confusion. I've been working with these people for years. They can help. <gasps> Tessa. Tessa gave the church papers then. Tessa gave to Mary Ann. It Mary Ann's room. Yeah, exactly. It's like conversion therapy, therapy right? right? It was bad though. Like maybe conversion therapy bad. That's what it sounded like. Sorry. I would be pissed too if I was Mary Ann. This is true. I want to know how Mary Ann felt about it. Yeah. And we need to hit Tessa with some hard proof. Okay. Am I supposed to go in here? Just woo, we could touch the computer. I didn't realize. Uh, Tessa, is it okay if I run a quick Google search? My phone's dead. Sure, but make it quick. I'm going to need the computer. Okay, so we've got thunder email. Urgent. Don't miss out on this opportunity. What if I told you the government owned you up to ten thousand dollars cash to go to school? This is not a loan. You won't have to pay back this is not a scam take this seriously click below in the two minute questionnaire and claim your money click here to let us know if you prefer check or direct deposit deposit <laughs> yeah that, that that doesn't seem like scam Virtual no seekers youth camp wait what is that what she recommended for tyler what to say i'm sorry tyler yeah let's see how tessa explains this one away Okay, Alliance for Traditional Families. Alliance for Tradition. I just said that and I got a bad taste in my mouth. Ew. November newsletter. Watch Dr. Whitmore's talk. Agricult. No. <laughs> Agricultural? That doesn't make sense. Articulating God's design for sexuality. Ten powerful Christmas. Oh my god, I, can't, I barely can't even read this. Christian quotes that will change your life. A parent's guide to prevent same-sex attraction. A virtue. Seeker's youth camp. But now it's the 20th year. Oh, no, no, no. I don't like this. Sarmatian. Your order has been shipped. Hello, thank you for shopping with us. Your order of garlic peeler kitchen tool has been shipped. Arriving Tuesday, November 10th. Okay. Aquino, Nicole Aquino. Uh, hey Tessie, I just got back from my workation. Found the girls in bed sleeping like happy logs. Adrian said that they were riding high when he picked them up from your place, and apparently you got them both to eat care care. I don't know what that is. Please let me know what saint you pray to to pull this off. Pulled that off, lol. All the morning they've been going on about their camping trip with Auntie Tessa and all the s'mores that they ate and all the bugs that they caught. I can't remember the last time that they were both this happy at the same time. Usually it's one happy, the other one crying. I know you're busy at the store and getting ready for to be first lady, so thanks for making time for them and sorry about the last minute drop off. You know how work has been. Uh, now, hang on. How do I? Oh, why? Scroll. <laughs> Should have probably read. <laughs> mm. The girls say we love you, Auntie Tessa. P.S. You and Tom should come for dinner sometime. Adrian's been dying to show him the new media room, which we will keep them, which will keep them busy while we drink wine in the kitchen. Your favorite little sister, notorious and icy. Okay, so that was from her sister. Gotcha. Elephant in the room, Barb Mayfield. I know, I know you don't, no, I know y'all don't want 
to have this conversation, but Lisa has flaked on rehearsals again. She hasn't showed up in weeks. I know we were all moved beyond words by her performance of Danny Boy at Carl's funeral, but what good is a beautiful voice if you can't show up in time every week like everyone else? I think we should start planning the winter gala without her thoughts. Seize the day, Robin Williams. This is as heartbreaking and cringe as I would expect her email to look like. Gotcha. So this means we got one clue. Am I right? I'm honestly not surprised. Now that we know that she's a Christian lady, I'm I'm sad to say that I am not surprised over the fact that she probably handed that pamphlet to Marianne. Can I help you, Allison? Oh, uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just looking for something that I forgot. Ah, 2004. Anything interesting? Uh, we already knew this was here, though. <laughs> okay. Elijah, June 24, for meal at the restaurant, paid off September 11, doll for the kid. Uh-huh, uh-huh. This is not what we're looking for, but I'm always nosy. Eric B. $50 in February, paid off February's debt, September 20. D for gas, paid in full. Gotcha, gotcha. Where do we have Marianne? It's gotta be a long list. Here we go. No show. It looks like Marianne started flaking on her debt in October 2004. Five months before. Okay. That night. I think we've seen enough. Yeah, we've got a good sense of what I went need down. to yeah. Let's talk to Tessa. Let me just read this through. April fifty dollars paid for gas paid off. May thirty through thirty seven dollars groceries, thirty dollars new jacket for Allison paid off, helped at the store. June twenty one for medicine paid off. August forty groceries paid off dur help during the rush inventory. Hundred and forty dollars for washing machine repairs, no show. Oh, 55 new shoes for kid, check bounce, what December no for? show, no returning calls. Oh wow, okay, got really bad then. Especially if they were close and she just stopped answering. That There's gotta be a reason behind this. Either it's something that we still don't know, or she was maybe even upset at Tessa for like, giving her all of these things about her kids. I wanna know. Is there something I can do for you? We're there back. We go. With details that should help your memory. Oh, really? Yes, really. Marianne was having one of her days. You were trying to talk, but she wasn't cooperating. The two of you started arguing, and you went in the office and cranked up that song you both loved. Hmm. And when was that? Well, our memories don't exactly have timestamps. <laughs> This was five, no wait, five months. Uh, no, I guess October then. October 2004, that was when she stopped trying to pay her debts, right? Yes, I don't know why she always found a way to pay before that. But we never argued about money. I, I was frustrated, but you can't squeeze blood from a stone. Yeah, we didn't yeah. think you guys were arguing about money. Yeah, I don't think so either. Told her about the camp. <gasps> oh no, wait. Cause she she was mad that she bailed on her, which you know, in some sense, I can somewhat understand. But she probably told her about the camp, and I feel like that's what we want to know, slash so need to know. I think we need to be straightforward about this. Yes, she was mad that she bailed on her. But that isn't the reason I think the fight started. I think that Marianne might have started a fight and that might have been about the pamphlet. So I'm going to go with this one. We know you support the Alliance for Traditional Families and that you gave her the pamphlet about their camp. What camp? Uh, It was called the Virtue Seekers, right? The Virtue Seekers so. Youth Camp. It was conversion therapy. You told her that Tyler should go there. I, uh, um... Tessa, I you better come clean now. Come on. 
Look, your mother was in a bad place. It was clear Does that mean she I was good? coming a apart ching. at the seams. She told me she'd been struggling with you, and I'd heard such good things about that camp. Your answer to my mother's bad moods was to send me to conversion therapy? It's what I thought yeah. would help both of you at the time. Mm, that doesn't really make sense, though. Tyler, like, why would Tyler be the... Than bad moods. She was Yeah, she not was probably well. not well, but why not send well him away to conver conver do you conversion know what they therapy? Do to kids in those places? I do. Yeah. No. And how did Marianne take your helpful suggestion? Badly. No. Yeah, okay. She wanted to let you be whatever perfect little butterfly was in that cocoon. That's actually sweet. And yes, we argued about it. I so knew she it. Was cool with who I was. She was more than that. She loved you. Listen, I don't mean to be rude, but I really do have a lot on my plate today. Okay. Well, get out of your way then. Thanks, Tessa. So they've been going 10 years thinking their mom hated Tyler, especially, for, for who he is. And maybe after all, that wasn't even true. Can we grab our groceries? Ah, uh, um, Michael already put them in your trunk. Okay, thanks. Bye, Tom. See you later. He did not notice anything there. Dude. What are you thinking? Just uh, trying to wrap my brain around all that. I can't believe you got Tessa Vecchi to talk about the past. <laughs> Bravo. Yeah. And Marianne, she had my back. Yeah. It, it really doesn't change much, right? She was still fucking crazy. She you can still, still be a bad kill me. mom, but at least that wasn't the reason. She was trying to protect me before whatever the hell happened that pushed her over the edge. It, it feels good, Allison. Hey, yeah. look at me. You are allowed to feel however you're feeling about this. That's very true, uh, Allison. That's such a nice I'm thing to say, because it is... She is allowed to feel whatever she feels, as well as Tyler, and I think that that's really nice said. What? Sorry, I'm just... Thinking about what this means. Yeah, me too. That well, must be it's so a good thing bad. Eddie's expecting us. He knew Marianne pretty well, and... He was in charge of her case. Did he ever mention anything about the investigation to you? No, I never asked. And I'm sure he thought I was better off not knowing. Guess that might have made for some awkward dinner conversation. Yeah, definitely. Exactly. But I mean, he's a good cop, thorough. I'm sure he's got something. Go. So they're, oh wait, they were gonna go for dinner at Eddie's place before they went back to the house? I'm sure we're gonna get something, at least, at the very, very least, a vibe. And I mean, come, like, Tyler already served his sentence, so I don't see why, you know, why they wouldn't... Oh, maybe they weren't going for dinner, maybe they were just dropping by the police department? They should, they should have a right to know if it's their mom, no? I don't actually know how it works if, if a family member of you have, like, gone through something like what that actually entails. This is kind of bleak. <laughs> it's usually more crowded, but the other officers punch out at six o'clock sharp. <laughs> There's no crime after six? Nope. In the mean <laughs> streets of Delos Crossing? Just bears and drunken disorderlies. And Uncle Eddie can usually handle them on his own. <laughs> so he's just working what about all drunk the time? Bears? <laughs> anyway, he's probably in his office, upstairs. Oh my god, I can't even believe, like, I can't imagine how it must feel being back in the police station after all this. They still got this creepy mascot, huh? <laughs> oh, wrong. <laughs> yeah, I keep telling Eddie to get rid of it. He terrifies all the kids that come through here. This is kind of funny. I don't know if I would say it's scary. I am the law. <laughs> kind of funny. Hold on. I want to catch up on all the Delos Crossing gossip. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong one. Um... Oh, that's all just public safety stuff. 
Nothing that interesting. Oh. What is this then? Let us take you for a ride? Want to see what a police officer does on the job register for the ride along program? Talk to Chef Brown. Chief Brian, not Chef. <laughs> for information. Okay. Please wait in line. Thank you. Now. 100% college tuition paid? Damn. <laughs> Maybe I should have joined the National Guard. Beats having your credit card stolen uh, by an online college. Too yeah. soon, Tyler. Too soon. <laughs> Too soon. Well, should I decide the wild world of accounting isn't for me? Uh, can't really picture you in the uniform. Really? I think I could pull it off. Too I could too never. Late. Petition. Oh, that's still not cleaned up. Assholes. Well, you know. I wonder if the black oyster catchers were still nesting Which? during this spill. God, I hope not. He really cares about nature. I like that. Okay. Got restroom. No need for that. Gonna check this side first as well. Oh, is this the office? No! Oh, no. Okay, it's not. I was like for a second thinking that maybe this is the office. Of course, it's locked. Yeah, it's a police station. What did I expect? Of course it's locked. Yeah, I'm assuming that we're gonna go in here now. They even got Leave heaters on. Huh. You spent oh, a lot gosh. of time here growing up? Yeah, whenever Eddie was working. The whole precinct's basically family. Oh, well, that's kind of sweet in a sense. It's freezing in here. People are missing. Remember Mr. Haynes? Vaguely. He had that workshop in his garage, right? Made those huge glass sculptures? Yeah. He's been missing for a couple months. Damn. Always liked his art. Disappearance? Wait, he was 25? When he disappeared? But it was 1990. He was supposed to host an art show just a few days after he went missing. What happened to him? What? Claire Brown went missing on a snowmobile trip? Yeah. I thought you huh. were still here when it happened. I don't remember it. Um, hello? Oh, you there never we go. did find him. This happened when we were kids, right? Yeah. Marianne freaked out and wouldn't drive after dark for a few weeks. I get that. That's valid. Oh, I can check the other ones? Okay. Quite a few missing people, considering this is a very small place, right? Isn't it? Isn't it a little bit odd? Oh my god, that's the cutest. Daddy it's do. Cute, cute. Don't tell me he's got baby fever. Ew, no. Why didn't you remember Dan and oh, Shelby? I didn't mean I to click so. that. The high schoolers who were always pissing Tessa off because they would blast fish and make out in the Vecchi's parking lot. Yep. Dan's a cop now. They're married and have a kid, a dog, the whole shebang. Damn. Kinda cute. When did everybody decide to become an adult? Yeah, I feel like, ooh, it would be a lot after being gone, seeing people who were like teenagers being like grown up. Shit. Stop touching everything, Butterfingers. Sorry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that huh. made Is my that heart Is that like an old-timey police scanner? Yeah. So cool, right? It had been gathering dust in a closet for years. <laughs> Eddie put it out on display last year. <laughs> Nerd. Yeah. Not necessarily a bad thing, the though, Dallas right? The Dallas Crossing Raiders. They got a basketball team now? Yep. A few mm. cops from this station and some firefighters from the next town over. How good are they? Mm, Eddie's within earshot, right? <laughs> I think so. Then they're great. <laughs> then they're great. <laughs> Smart. Okay. Let's see the other desks. I could have maybe checked this one. Yeah, I did check this one. Confident. Um. Why would they have confident papers just like laying out blank? 
They're just out on the desk. Would the you really? Bandit, huh? Mailbox bandit. <laughs> Subject pays and transfer to all Dallas Cross the police department. Please be advised to due to overcrowding issues. Oh, so they will be transferred. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. Still kind of oh, weird. Greg's just leaving this out on display again. Yeah, Greg. that's exactly what I was the saying. Officer Greggs, the one who was with us that night. Yeah, he's still yeah. here. He became a bit of a local celebrity after nabbing a murderer from Juno. The guy was hiding out on a fishing boat and got really, really sick after eating out of the chum bucket. So it was actually a pretty easy takedown. Still kind of cute. That is going to smell lovely tomorrow. It's mm. Francis's restaurant, right? Uh-huh. Everyone eats there all the time. It's as exciting as food gets in Delos Crossing. Mm, I can see that. Like, they probably don't have that many options in terms of yeah. food, right? It's locked. Well, what did you expect, dum dum? It's Wait, I want to see this that's first. Denise Wilson's desk. Remember her? Uh, Crazy D, the woman who set fire to her ex's trailer. Allegedly oh. set fire. She was acquitted, and that's Officer Wilson to you. Interesting. Oh, no, it was her birthday. I completely <gasps> forgot. Oh. You're a terrible person. <laughs> it's your fault. I was so excited to see you that it completely slipped my mind. That's Remember fair. This fella? No way. Is that Jet? Yep. Oh, the dog is called yeah. Jet. <laughs> he died last year putting himself between D and a bear. Oh, no. Damn. Poor D. That's horrible. What the heck? Oh, we can find a note. Okay. No. Draw a dog. I think D was a dog in a past life. Oh, I can't look at it. Oh, cute. <laughs> That's actually a pretty decent drawing. Edith Tarot. Edith Tarot Trail Sled Dog Race Winner's List. Oh, that's cute. Do we seek out the memory? <gasps> oh, it's in the holding on, cell. Man. We can't make these poor kids sleep here. Well, where do you suggest they go? Social services will be here in a few hours, and this is the only room with a bed. Anywhere but a cell. We'll find some other place. God. Here we go again. God, not here too. I'm not ready. Me neither. Yeah, that must be so hard. Oh, a key. Oh. Looks like she forgot her locker key here. A happy birthday. She's card? gonna give me so much crap for forgetting her birthday. That's that's a cute card. Happy 29th birthday, Denise. Keep up the good work, Eddie. Another year to prove that older doesn't really mean wiser. Have a kick and stay, DD from Dan. Enjoy your last year of youth before joining the 30-year-old lady club. Don't waste it, Rosie. Hope you enjoy those spicy chocolates. Happy birthday, D. Joshua. Happy birthday. You don't look over a hundred, Maria. <laughs> Cute. Huh. Looks like she forgot her locker key here. Yeah, I thought I could pick it up if I clicked again, but I was wrong. The music makes it even worse. I don't know, it just... The music makes me feel on edge. Okay. Was I supposed to see something in there specifically? <laughs> Man, they are never gonna catch this guy. <laughs> what exactly did he do? Uh... Stealing this guy keeps then? stealing out of people's mailboxes. <laughs> Asshole snagged a box of fancy washi tape I ordered online. No, <laughs> how dare he? Uh, see, I was picturing an actual mailbox bandit. You know, like hopping around on a post with a little mask on the door. Huh? You know, 
the mailbox is the bandit. Sorry. That would be cute. It was really, I like that. I like that. Okay, so this is just statements of like the dude stealing mail out of their mailboxes. Gotcha. Oh, can we open it from the inside? <gasps> Isn't that a fire hazard? Maybe not. There's a window here. What do you know? Still locked. <laughs> Surprise! It's still locked. <laughs> what kind of room is this? Is it like an interrogation mm. room? Eddie must have locked it already. Bummer. How about this room? <laughs> I love that I'm trying all the doors. <gasps> like they're gonna work. This one actually did, but we didn't go inside. <sighs> Something's in the way. Oh. Okay, no, I can't go in. I guess we're going up then. I didn't think there. I didn't feel like there was any other Tyler, memory. You coming? Yeah, yeah, he's on his way. I kind of like. Look at the details. Like I like games where you can look out I'm of the windows and see stash all the guns and stuff. Stuff, you know. Well, it's not exactly Fort Meade, but yeah. They got some you think fruit. We could find some files about Marianne in the archives. Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> Never mind. I'll ask Chief Brown later. That's probably a good idea. Archives. No, we can't even go in. Okay. I wonder if I would have chosen the other answer if we could have gone in. Probably not, but still. Whoop. Sorry, Tyler. Mining kale salmon. They've got a lot of posters up in a very small station. I think it's time that we meet Eddie, right? Allison, hey. Just finishing up a call. Trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage aren't police business. Give me a few minutes. <laughs> sure. Make yourselves a cup of coffee. He looks Here's young, but... Room. Thanks. I don't... Come back upstairs when you're done, okay? I don't know. Maybe, maybe just like the way it looks in the game. Coffee that sounds good? awkward. The machine is in the break room downstairs. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No, I understand. I understand that like... Tyler feels like it's it's Eddie's fault that he had to be had to go to to Dewey, but still. Memory. Now I'm so scared of missing the memories. You know, them. I really thought I'd lock those memories in some deep deep part of my brain. Same here. Yeah. But like being here together, I understand it. Mm, coffee? Where's the coffee machine? Oh. Oh! <gasps> wait, wait, wait. It's another memory. Hello? Wait, do I have to look and then? Where, where did the memory go? I do wish it was easier. Huh? I swear there was a memory. Did I, oh, maybe I need to go inside. Is there a memory in here? Whew, Rose never lets me back here. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see it, I see it. Where are we going? We're just gonna sit down in here, and I'm gonna ask you a few questions, okay? Okay. Oh, gosh. Imagine going through this as a kid. Yeah. I just usually try my best not to remember that night when I'm here. I would yeah. too. 
Huh. I always it's left the computer on. Oh, I want to check the memo first. New edition is softer. Reset your password. Oh, okay. Nothing interesting. Oh, our Rose. Wait, wait. Is there any clue about her password? Any officer side? Oh, okay. I I need something to use. I need. Hmm. Like what is? Wait, how come there is no? Okay, wait. Wait, I have. Tyler? I can't go out! Uh... Wait... <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh my god, not me just walking into Tyler, sorry! What if this dude had some... No, just left that paper out, not the password. Not here... Maybe some other desk had the memo. This one. I should take her out for a birthday drink. Dang it, I was kind of hoping she would have left a note. This is, this would be really hard to figure out. Can I even do that? Is that a thing? How about this person? No? And Rosie didn't seem to have anything, right? There's nothing I can click on in here. There's gotta be a way. I wouldn't they wouldn't they wouldn't just leave that there and not let you, right? Is this key this key, can I use the key in here? That's gonna be something, huh. right? Looks like she forgot her locker key here. Yes. Why can't I pick it up? Let me see if the locked door down here works when I have the keys that I have now. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, this. let's go in. Oh. We were going here anyway, weren't we? The locker room was the place that had the coffee. That is one sad vending machine. It is so empty. Allison, how about that coffee we were talking about? Oh. Oh, that's the coffee. Okay? okay, we will go in I'm here just first. Feeling though. a little nauseous. Okay, is there anything in here? Any clues? League standings, that's the baseball thing, is it? Yep, it's locked. Didn't yeah. Tessa buzz Dawn for smoking weed behind the store once? Yep, but Uncle Eddie let him off with a warning. He and the other officers still tease him about it. I wonder if he has some... Hey, is this Crazy D's locker? Uh, I think so. Yep. I think so. We need a key to open it. Wait, can, can I get the key now? Did I have to go here first? He wouldn't have said we need a key to open it. Specifically that one. And I wouldn't have been able to try to open it. Right, come on. Here we go. This has got to be it. Don't tell me I can't grab this key now. She won't notice if we borrow this, right? Oh, no. Oh, so we can put it back. I'm gonna try to remember to put it back then. All right, let's go back. Snoop in her locker. It's her birthday and we're doing this. This feels very wrong. It's like, oh, hi, D. I I forgot your birthday, but also I stole your key to get into your locker to get your password so we can get to the computer. Um, yeah, that happened. Sorry about that. You really shouldn't be in here. Yes, but... You never know where we might find information about that night. I guess yeah. so. 
Balto came through. Dog. This is the memo again. Why does she have two? So Wilson leaves her locker key in her desk and her password reminder in her locker? That's so irresponsible. An intruder could easily access all kinds of police files with this. Yeah. Like two goblin intruders. <laughs> Winner. Winner on my twin. Wait. Uh... Okay, but that doesn't say the password. Did it? Wait, let me look at that again. Winner on my 20th birthday. Hmm. Winner on my 20th birthday. Is that the clue with like her password? Oh, wait, so her birthday is today. Do we know today's date? Is this memo from today? Because in that case, it's October 29, 2015, and she was turning 29. Uh, so the winner on her birthday, 95? Something like that. There's a little dog on the on the note so didn't she wait didn't she have didn't she have a like list with like race dog racing sledge racing on her this feels so wrong coffee is sounding real good Where's i know but we are we're just you know uh being goblins Nope. I was gonna put the key back, not examine this. Okay, let's put it back. Here we go. Good. Probably don't need to go in there. Now, now. Please tell me I cracked this. Let's take her out for a birthday drink. Here. On her birthday, 20th birthday, which would be 95. So is it Dog Swinley? It's the higher. I'm probably gonna have to write this down to be able to spell it. No, wait, 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 wait. It's not 20 years ago. It was on her 20th birthday. It's not 95, then it's. It's 2015, she's 29, so nine years ago. 2006 Jeff King Do I need to remember Salem as well? Is it Je is it the name or is it name or is it the place? Oh wait. Oh the dog is called Salem. I was like that's a place, isn't it? <laughs> oh my god, I feel so stupid. Okay. Okay, so it's it's Probably Salem the dog because like that's the winner not the person, right? That's a really Bad password if that's it if I'm actually right about this you should have at least throw some other stuff in there Okay, so, you know like ugh. Yeah, sorry Tyler. I'm uh, busy using the computer. Let's try. Oh It's only okay. It's only five letters. I'll give that to her. Okay. I'll give it to her. Fine. Salem. Damn it. Oh, I'm using the wrong person. Sorry, this is the one. <laughs> I was like, how could it not be that? It fits perfectly. Salem. Bingo. Um, hello. I just this cracked this, can't working, believe yes. it. Sam can't oh, get Sam. The... What about him? Hmm. Just he got arrested for public intoxication oh. last week, and that was not his first offense. He's on a bit of a downward spiral. Just a heads up, since you are picking up the relief shift tomorrow morning, Sam Kansky spent the night in the drunk tank again. 
Maria picked them up outside of Bernie's last night, drunk out of his mind and terrorizing customers. He dozed off pretty quickly once he got into the station, so he would be better by the time that you get here. He might have a hungover though, so I'd bring him a big ass coffee and donuts if I were you. Have fun! Lost and found set of keys. Miss Reynolds bought a set of keys that were found lying on the ground outside of Vecchi's in the morning. Three small keys plus a bottle opener keychain if anyone comes looking for them. I would have filed this up, but the new admittance office is bullshit. It was all down. <laughs> Whose idea was it to change it? Oh no. Um, you think of shopping, you'd. Order of Just Between Us Season 2 Complete DVD set has been shipped. Okay, I don't know what that is, but sure. Mm. Police lecture at Youth Center. Hey dear, are, you, are there any sliders or material for your lecture on Friday? I also wanted to let you know that we have lots of people sign up, so extra. So expect a good turnout. And wear your nicest suit. I think these kids really enjoy your talks. Keep it up. Oh, okay. Holy... Oh. Hey, Kyle, I'll send my slides as soon as I get home. I'm glad to hear this. Here's my secret for keeping a kid's attention. Tales from the detox tank. Last time I told them about how I got into a high-speed chase with a drunk guy in a snowmobile. <laughs> I might have embellished some details, but... It was all spiritually true. Whatever takes them to get your point across right. <laughs> all right. You preached the choir. Wait, you preached? No, you're preaching to the choir. You're looking forward to it. Okay. I I don't know. I didn't feel like there was a lot of useful information there, but um, now we know, I suppose. I might have missed... Youth center, so it's not in a school, so she's, they were saying preaching, so if she is an officer coming there to talk about being a police with like religious Ooh, that's kids. That's gotta be a new record. Hey, bears without, without, no, days without bear sighting, not, not bears without day sighting. <laughs> Wash your own cups and dish, okay, I'm gonna make the coffee, I just wanna... Sneaking, ooh. Is it like, no, this is not a break room. What room is that? Oh, is that the office? No. Check I don't out know. this masterpiece. No, that was upstairs. <laughs> you made it? Uh-huh. I glued it to the pot one day when I was bored, and nobody has bothered to peel it off. Huh. Well, ooh. I'm not that hungry. Oh. I was like, ooh, cookies. She's like, mm, no. Della's news. Police Chief Brown asked council to reconsider budget. Dock strike to begin this week. Mayoral election. Candidate Tom Vecchi supports gun control and money for local schools. Uh, oh, can I go in here? <gasps> I'm not going in. No. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was so excited that we could go in, but... Oh, this is what was blocking it. This is heavier than I expected. Well... It was blocking the door, so it makes sense. Okay, I guess it's time to make coffee. How is it still warm? You sure you want coffee this late in the day? You'll be <laughs> up all night. Uh, I don't think I'll sleep much anyways. Too much in my mind. Those dusty couches won't make it any easier. I'm seeing something. Hey, you okay? Is it a memory? Oh, is that where he was interrogated, maybe? <gasps> I can't do this. Calm down, Allison. Stick to the plan. Come on, don't freak out on me now. I can't. Please, I can't lie. We already lied. It's all gonna be fine, okay? Lied about what? They li wait, huh? You okay? Honestly, no. Do you ever regret? No, no way. Well, maybe once or twice early on, but now, no way. 
I mean, look where we're at. Look where I'm at. Uncle Eddie's probably done by now. We should go find him. Do you mind if I go inside that room for a second? Uh, you sure? Wait, there is, is there another memory here or inside? I think it's inside, right? It's the first time I've been in here since that night. And no? he was so uncomfortable, he dropped a vase. Oh, here we go. Okay, it is in here. I was scared of missing here. it. Have a seat. All right. Sorry. Huh, they kept this? What? It's that vase. They glued it back together. <laughs> they did. I thought it was just a pattern on it first. Huh. What's that oh. back there? No way. Have you been hiding back here all this time? Wait, 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 wait. So these things, is it Allison's? And we're like Allison's and um, Tyler's from their childhood and she just hit them everywhere? Because that's really cute. <gasps> it's the Ice King! Oh gosh, how many of those have I missed this far? Is there anything else in here? Hello? Oh, the music is making me so uneasy. I'm pretty sure Chief Brown is done with his phone call by now. Oh, okay. So I guess we're... I guess we're going up. <gasps> Another memory. Why did you separate us? Is Ollie okay? Ollie's just fine, honey. They're all in the other room having cocoa. Everything's gonna be okay. I need to ask you a few questions now. That must Come have been me. so hard. Oh gosh. I can't even imagine handling a case like this as well. Like it's it's I it must be You're so difficult. Quiet. Yeah. Sorry. Trying to deal, but it's a lot. So was it just she who saw this memory? Just, I'm just gonna go through to just check that there wasn't any other memory that I missed. I'm gonna go out this way. No, okay, I don't think I don't think there was any other. <sighs> okay, let's go up for the phone call. Or not the phone call. Talk to Eddie. I hey, mean. sorry that took so long. Sometimes these old folks want us to come out just because they're lonely. Instead of uncle, hey, he's not even saying you remember hi. This guy? Not realizing. Yeah, of course. Oh. Why didn't why didn't he say hi before just talking Tyler about Ronan. other stuff? Back in Delos Crossing. <laughs> it's uh, good to be back. And just look at you, a man grown. Yep. Guess I ate my Wheaties. The whole clan's so proud of you. How you work with those kids at Fireweed. I would say children of the future. I thought that was Whitney Houston. <laughs> Come on, bro. She stole her entire act from me. Everybody knows that. Look at you two. He seems chill, at least. Okay. Reunited and it feels so good, huh? <laughs> yeah. Not sure how I got by without this dork. <laughs> Look, Eddie, we aren't here just to say hi. We found something in Marianne's room. Things aren't really adding up anymore, and we've got questions. Oh, yeah? Oh, oh, can I only ask? I feel like in this case, there's a lot of times where you can only ask one question. I do wonder if she was worried about something because it kind of felt like it, but I also want to know how she was the last few days. It's hard. I don't know when I can only ask one and when I can't ask, like, when I can ask both, but... 
Let's go with this one. I don't know. I feel like Did it's more general. Did anyone mention anything about her behavior in the days leading up to that day? Anything at all? No. Everyone I talked to said it took them by surprise. Did you see her at all? Like, in those last few days? No. I hadn't seen her for weeks. Maybe a month before. Oh, I can't ask both. This is a new, these aren't new questions. Did she okay. mention anything about us that might have been worrying her? About Tyler in particular? No. She dealt with those kind of worries all on her own. Kept the rest of us at arm's length. Okay. I see. I will tell you one thing, though. Your mom. Oh? Never knew her to hate anyone for being unconventional. Usually. It's the other way around. Okay. Thanks, Uncle Eddie. If you want my advice, nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. Mm. We don't really have a choice about that. Yeah. There's always a choice, son. I know sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but there is. No, but still. Can we take a look at her file? I Maybe feel like see something you knowing didn't. is her also file? healing. Her file, her Otherwise, you file, can't whatever. move on, right? We keep those pretty much forever, right? We do, but I can't just pull it out right here, right now. There are procedures. <laughs> but you're the chief. Which makes it even more important that I follow procedures. Look, Chief Brown, are you going to help us, or are you going to be a cop about this? Tyler! Us? No, Son, it's he's fine. upset, though. Tyler, I know you resent me, but fireweed was the best deal I could get you. I'm not mad about fireweed, but I may be a little salty you kept my sister away for seven fucking years. That's what this is about? Look, that was the court's recommendation. They're the experts. I just went along. Yeah, sure you did. Trust me, son. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense. But we couldn't no. be sure. I can't believe this. Look, Wait, we so couldn't he be sure. Okay? They think it I was, was and you because both. they so weren't sure, sure they separated what? them. You still think keeping us apart was the right call? She was traumatized. We needed he each other. He was to too, heal. no? And you took that away from us. So why didn't you let your sister visit when you turned 18 Uncle, then, huh? Please, let's move on. She's never gonna tell you how much that hurt her, but it did. That was about me. It wasn't about her. Allison gets that, and three years is nothing compared to seven. Right, Allie? Oh, no, do I have to decide? I, I believe that Eddie did what he thought was best. But I also wonder, like, how, why would you choose to get a kid to go through, like, juvie instead? If you think it was self-defense, but you couldn't be sure, like that, that thing doesn't really, and I don't believe separating kids, like if you can keep kids together, I think that that is very important if they're siblings. And I think it would have made a huge difference for both of them being able to deal with this together rather than separate and then breaking up everything now. But I still believe that they, they deserve to know because I think that a lot of people, like it's hard to move on, like, if you don't know exactly what happened, it, it's hard. So I totally understand that. <sighs> Look, uncle, separating us like that did not help me heal. If anything, it was the opposite. Even if he had been dangerous, I'd have taken the risk. Being apart was that miserable. I didn't know you felt that way, little moose. It was hard to talk to you about it. I didn't want to seem ungrateful. Look, we've all fucked up. And we've all hurt each other. But isn't that what family's for? Can't we just <laughs> move on? Sounds like the right call. That is kind of sweet. <laughs> Times like this, I, I wonder who raised who. Oh, we're going to stay the night at the old house. We better get going. You want to grab a bite first? It's on me. <laughs> Don't want to send you out there with empty stomachs. I would not turn that down. OK. OK, so they Let's are go. going for a meal then. Tyler, I'm sorry. I wish we could see the file. He looks very determined. What is that? What the? Are you kidding me?
Uh, what was that thing? The shadow? Was that just a memory? Or what was that? I'm not happy about it. That's really scary. Oh. God, she has really pointed the gun to him. Oh my God, what that scare! <gasps> Wait, was that in was that imagination or was that actually something? Oh my God! Please, mom, I'm sorry I cut my hair. I won't do it again. I'm going to kill you! No, please, please. She really, she really said that, aiming a gun at him. Oh my god, I almost can't watch. Actually, what happened? I killed her. I killed her. Allison, we need to call for help. I killed her. No, you didn't. I killed her. And when they come, that's what we're gonna tell them. No, no. Yes, we look out for each other. That's what goblins do. Saved him, and now he's saving her. And brothers and sisters. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. <laughs> I didn't realize that this is how it happened. Oh my god, did I finish chapter one already? I actually don't know how many chapters this one has. Oh, look at this picture of them. That's so sweet. I didn't real. I thought it happened in the staircase inside first off, which I guess doesn't make sense. And and when they said that they lied, I didn't realize that I didn't realize that the lie was about Tyler, because then it would have been self-defense. But if it was Allison, that would have been just like straight up murder. So they they protected each other, and that is. Oh my god, I can't- I cannot believe this. My- I- Seventy-four? Accepted, you could refuse and you could throw it in the water, really? Alison was delighted to solve the puzzle. Uh, solve the princess's riddle with her brother. Okay, so eighty-one percent did. Tyler felt supported by Alice and trust at the store. Very even with whose memory. Okay, so wait, if I would have gone with Allison's memory, would Tyler not have felt that Allison trusted him? Is that it? Tyler was reassured of his bond to Allison when she sided with him at the station. I'm even happier now that I sided with him knowing exactly what happened. 70% did. I didn't... Okay. Tyler earned Sam's respect. 45% didn't call him out. I mean, I know that he had a gun, but like, when he was sitting there, I felt like it was, you know. 
47% learned the truth, 24% didn't get an answer, 29% antagonized Tessa, oh, open up, up to the twins about Marianne. Eddie felt rejected by Allison when she didn't side with him at the station. Yeah, I, I can see that. Still, 70% actually sided with Tyler, that's really interesting. Oh, oh! Oh wait, this is for friends. I don't know how many friends I have. I know at least one who's played this game. And if you wanna, actually, if you wanna watch that friend's playthrough, I'm gonna link um, her channel down below because she's amazing and she also has done a playthrough of this that I am gonna binge. Like, I just need to go get a little further into the game before I did something, but I'm gonna binge that. So I'm gonna put that in the description to this video if you wanna go and check it out because she's really cool and amazing. Okay, so I guess that we could be like three people here, maybe? Most of us accepted the ring, 100% sold the puzzle, 50-50 on this one, sided with Tyler, 75% called him out, 75 learned the truth. <gasps> no one sided with Eddie either, okay, okay. <laughs> that was fun. Okay, that was fun to see, I'm, I'm very excited to see what she picked. So what now? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? Go big or go home. Oh my god, wait, are we actually gonna do that? <gasps> god. I'm so nervous for that. I don't, I'm not good at handling this, okay. <laughs> This is a perfect time to exit the game, I feel like. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. I'm pretty sure that this video is up a little late, so I'm sorry for that. But one, I wanted to take my time to like really be focused when I play this. And I also got two phone calls in the midst of recording it. So I'm very late, but I really appreciate that if you made it this far in the video, maybe you can comment a little like a little heart or something in the comments if you made it this far because I know that most people stop watching by night but if you made it that's really cool and thank you for being here holding my hand whilst playing this um I'm gonna see if I can link uh Stacy my friend's Preezy uh, her channel like up up here I think it could link to any channel so I'm gonna link it up here otherwise you can find it in the description or maybe both because if you like tell me why and you you like amazing people you should go and check her videos out as well she's got them on youtube right now um yeah this was an interesting episode i i really did not realize that it was allison who killed the mom i feel like it was just like it made sense that it would have been like tyler and self-defense so like the story really holds up and it's it's there i mean i i can't like i don't know if i could have it must have been Oh, I don't know how to put this in like words that make sense, but I feel like it must have been so hard for Allison to deal with all of that alone without Tyler. Cause like if Tyler would have done it, he would have at least had like he's got he probably got help in Juvie to like at least cope with everything that happened, but Allison wouldn't have gotten the same help. So that's really interesting and oh. Oh my god, I can't wait to play the next one. I really can't. I, I feel like I'm even lost at words. Like, this mind-blowing, what we found out today. And that Marianne maybe wasn't angry at Tyler, but she m might have been angry at something else. Or like, I don't know, something was wrong. And I'm keen to know more and find out more about it. <laughs> But thank you so much for watching today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, it would mean a lot if you left a comment down below. Of course, like the video and subscribe for upcoming videos. We have a lot of good games to play through on this channel. So I hope that you're here for the ride. But yeah, thank you for being here. And have an amazing rest of your day, night, morning, midnight, psych, breakfast. Whichever time it is for you when you're watching this. And I'll see you very soon. Bye!